Since 1999, engines and gearboxes have been a major area of collaboration between Renault and Nissan. Whether it be through co-owned powertrains that are developed together from the start, or through cross-exchanges where the element is developed by one partner and used by the other, this alliance strategy has already paid off. If we speak about uh, co-owned cross-exchange engines, it's around 58% today of uh, 2011 production. And in the transmission area, we reach 74% uh, of co-on plus cross-exchanged units between Renault and Nissan. In 2012, synergies in powertrains represent a significant saving for Renault and Nissan, as well as a source of internal business for both companies. We are in line to reach uh, 670 million euros, uh, is around 41% of total synergies of Renault and Nissan. Uh, also, if we speak about the uh, uh, amount of uh, exchanges, around 1,800 million euros of uh, cross sales between Renault and Nissan. Building on these successes, the Alliance is now working on the next generation of small petrol and diesel engines. A new step that will enable shared investments while meeting tougher CO2 regulations. We are doing some common units in uh, three-cylinder turbo engines, uh, also in the diesel range uh, with next generation uh, Euro 60 uh, engines and uh, also on electrification because now it becomes quite uh, important to have a high CO2 reduction and so uh, electrification is now ongoing also in the powertrain area discussions. Cleaner and more cost-effective, these new engines will benefit both entities. A synergy policy that will also result in reducing diversity and overlaps. In the gasoline area, currently we can reduce by around 40, 30 to 40 percent diversity. Uh, so meaning is uh, we should stop all the engines and just focus on the new uh, and uh, the, the best uh, engines CO2 cost ratio. And when it comes to reducing the number of engines in the Alliance, working closely with the common module family team is a key to success. When we have the same engine bay and underbody for Renault and Nissan cars, when one develops, we are sure the other one can use. Another example of the upstream approach is the A-entry vehicle project in Chennai, where Renault and Nissan will develop one single vehicle for both companies with one common powertrain. The entry project is a, a new alliance project for low range. It's a quite a tough target, cost viewpoint, but not only weight and also a development schedule. I think this can bring an important benefit for alliance because this range today is not covered inside the alliance, so it's a new business. And if we can reach the target, it could be a, a, good, a good thing for Alliance. With an Alliance powertrain strategy closely integrated with the Alliance's new platforms, lots of projects are coming up to make the powertrain an even bigger contributor to the Alliance's synergies. <laughs>